What are you doing here? We bit of maintenance on the airlock console. You're big. Mr. Scott, where are you? His communicator is working. I don't know why he isn't responding. What is that? Are you Starfleet or private security? Show me your other hand. Because you look like private security. If you can hear us, Mr. Scott, open the door in ten. Scotty! Nine. That person counting down, what Eight. is that? I think you're hearing things, mate. Seven. Mr. Scott, where are Six. you? Six. 1,800 meters. Five. 1,600 meters. Scotty, where are you? Three. Do you copy, Scotty? Please! Two. Sorry about this. No way. Mr. Scott, open the door! Open the door! Mr. Scott, now! <gasps> I killed Warren Cheswick, and I'd do it again. He had it coming. Why do you say that, Mr. Bumler? He murdered my sister. <laughs> Carla Baumgartner. She disappeared three years ago. You guys claim you never figured out who took her. But when I found out the truth, well, you know the rest. And just where do you think you're going? I'm just transporting. No, you're just gonna open this truck. Open it. Okay, I see what this is. This is racial. This is about my ethnicity, ain't it? Uh-huh. It's because I'm Jewish. Damn it, Davis. Open that door. Or open your head. All right, I hope you wore your sports bras because today we are wrestling. Hey! No complaints. You'll have to wrestle me. Grab a partner. Didn't have a name or even a face, really, to check with missing persons reports. So I went out on my own and had a plastic surgeon help us construct this. A computer-generated portrait. And did you identify her? No. But look, we've had people knocking on every door in Malibu with that picture. I took it myself into the local bars and restaurants, and nobody knows her. Where is she? I'm sorry, officer. You, you must have the wrong house. Oh. oh, that's bad. You don't want to go in there, Frank. You've got something of mine. Yeah, well, something of mine is to sleep upstairs, my six-year-old son. Well, I'll try not to wake him. Here's the thing about my son, Frank. He wants to be a policeman when he grows up, and you know why? Because he believes that cops are good, that they actually help people. I'm guessing you believe that once too, but if you break that door down right now, you're gonna have to explain to him who you are and how the hell you turned out to be like this. <sighs> oh. Ah! Twinkie, you don't have to answer him correctly. Well, who the hell is this, Abe? Eh? But your children are where you can't hurt them. Her, what, what is he talking about, Corinne? I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do about this let, let, let me do the talking, Corinne. Shut your mouth, you big fat neck prick. Easy. One more Stop step, it. and she signs a restraining order. Corinne! I'm scared for our kids. Because of what happened with Gilroy? That was a oh, one-time thing, let's, Corinne. Let's go. Oh, don't do this, Corinne! Corinne. Just Gilroy, it's all of it. Get out of my way. It's exactly the kind of behavior I'm talking about. That's my daughter! No! Hey, no! Uh.